Hi everyone, so I am going to do the uh, what's in my pencil case tag that was started by uh, Mrs Brimbles by Anna. Um, she's done it, uh, uh, Vicky's done it, uh, my planner's done it, I think Miss Vicky, oh, I've already said Miss Vicky B, oh Romany's done it. Um, so I thought I'd join in the fun. Uh, I actually have, as you can see, two pencil cases. I have my on the go and I have my at home with everything else in it. This I use all the time. Um, so I'll just get right into the questions, I think, first. Um, what pencil case are you using, do you use? So this is my on the go all the time one. This is the uh, Neocrits Transformer pencil case. Um, it is brilliant because it goes, oh, here we go. Da -da -da -da. One handed, there we go. It transforms into a pen pot. And this is brilliant so I can, it goes in my bag, it comes out uh, at the office, it opens up and it stays on my desk all day. I then zip it up, take it home, open it up while I'm on the sofa um, if I need it, that kind of thing. So it's brilliant. Um, this is the Kipling 100 pen case. Um, you will have seen it in different colours um, all over the internet um, in, on, on, in YouTube land. It is brilliant. Um, it's made by Kipling. It usually has a monkey on there, but I've taken him off and I actually don't know where I've put him. Oh, he's over there. It's okay. Uh, um, now, I found out today that they call them all different names. So, bear with me a second. I'm going to go and get it. Excuse the messy desk. There he is. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Right, apparently he has a name, but I don't know how you find out what his name is. Ooh. Oh, there we go. That's Manuela. <laughs> that, do you know what? I've never, I never would have known that. I was watching, who was, whose video was it? Erin Joy. Erin um, Joy, who uh, on YouTube, she, she was like, yeah, they've got names. And I just went, no, <laughs> that's really cool. Anyway, sorry, getting distracted. Um, so, one-handed. These are really chunky zips, but they're really good zips. Um, this is my Kipling 100 pay, pen case, and it definitely lives up to the name. Anyway, moving on to question two. Why do you use it? Um, I use the Transformer pay, pen case because of its... Um, flexibility so it I can put it in my bag and it's safe and secure and it doesn't take up much room um I, and a lot goes in it actually it's it, it I can well then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven things in it which I think is really good um so it's really flexible I can it can just sit on my desk at work I absolutely love it this it fits a lot that's why I use it where was it from this one was from cult pens I think, yeah, cultpens.com or .co.uk, I can't remember. And this one was from the Kipling shop in our um, Bista Designer retail outlet, uh, which is probably about 20 minutes away from me um, and is brilliant because you can get all sorts of designer stuff for cheaper. Uh, number four, do you carry it out and about or does it stay home? See your answer above. Uh, out and about, home. Eh... Uh, Shelves, what's inside? Okay, now let's start with the, the little ones. So in here I have got my other uh, Coletto. I have one Coletto which is in my planner, uh, which has got blue, brown, cherry pink and pencil. This is These are my colour coding um, colours in here. So I've got orange, purple, pink and green um, in this one. I've got two um, of the, would help if I had them the right way around, the Sigma Micron 05 pens, one in brown and one in purple. I then have all my uh, fountain pens. And oh, the lighting isn't great. There we go. Um, so I have one, two, three Lamy Safaris. Well, one Lamy Vista, two Lamy Safaris, one in blue and one in charcoal. Um, I have a Platinum Plaisir in blue and then have two Lamy um, All Stars, one in the uh, purple, black purple, I think it's called, and one in the aqua. Um, green, blue green. Um, I can't remember what, I think that was this last year's limited edition, I think. Um, so that's that. There is a, oh, let's see if I can do it one handed. There is a Velcro pocket here, which is, which you just don't see. <laughs> there we go. Which I have two uh, Lamy cartridges. That's the, that's the violet. And then I have the 
aqua in there. It doesn't want to come out. There we go, it's in there. Um, so they stay in here and they're, they're just kind of safe. So I use, in the blue I have my aqua or turquoise and then in the vista I have the violet. Um, this one I have a brown ink, this one I have a grey ink. This one is the soft mint that um, a lot of people, like, oh, who was it? Goulet pens suggested was the nearest colour to it. Um, and this one has... Noodler's Apache Sunset, which is like a gorgeous orange. I also have a glue stick, my Tombow glue stick, and I have the, I think this is Tombow too. Yeah, the Tombow Mon Mono One um, eraser, which is kind of a, I like that one. There's a couple of paper clips in that front pocket too. Um, in the Kipling, I'm just looking at the picture, the, the question C. Uh, yeah, in the Kipling, I have in the front, I have my Derwent Intense ink tense. Oh, I can't say that word. Pencil um, set. Uh, I also have a the Dark Wash HB as well. And then inside, I have lots of washi samples on credit cards and um, store cards and gift vouchers. Um, I have a Snowpaint Glue It glue roller. I have the Tombow glue tape as well. I love this thing because it just goes like that. It's really easy to use. Um, I have my Aquash medium water brush. Um, I have three more Derwent um, pencils. So I have an HB, a 2B and a 4B. I have the Tombow uh, markers, ABT markers. I've got them in several different colors. I have a stump. I'm gonna have to take them all out, aren't I? So I have the Tombos in grey, blue, brown, mm -hmm. uh, light grey, um, the blender pen, which I don't really like very much. Where's me at the Tombos? There we go. Green, and then red and purple. Okay, so that's those. I've got some more washi tape samples. So those are all my washi tape samples. There's quite a lot. There you go. Uh, excuse the shakiness guys. Um, I then have a black sharpie. Actually I need to keep that out because I need it for something. Um, I also have a pink sharpie in here somewhere. There it is. I have a pink sharpie. I have my Crayola colouring pencils from way back when. One that's, there's two that have fallen out and I keep them in a hairband just to keep them all together. Um, these I've had for years and they're still really long. I need to get back into using. Um, they're not the best colouring pencils, but I refuse to spend any more on colouring pencils when I've still got loads of these. So they're those. Um, I have my silver and gold gel pens from WH Smith. I have my jelly roll in, um, so that I have a normal white one. And then I have the metallic in green, I think it's called. Uh, so there's that one. I have four, yeah, four Stabilo um, 0.88. So I've got a grey, a dark blue, a purple and a black. I am thinking about getting the whole set because it's on offer at Colt Pens at the moment. A normal block eraser, uh, a bone folder, a white gel pen, which is the, oh, here we go, the... Hmm, I don't actually know what this is from. Hmm. It's called Hybrid Gel Pentel. It's a Pentel. There we go. Pentel white gel pen. Uh, my owl ballpoint from Paper Chase, which was a present for my birthday. Oh, there we go. Yellow Tombow. I knew there was another one. Uh, normal black bic. A uh, blue uni jet stream. Um, colors. Hey, Zebra Salsa uh, clip pen in aqua. A, oh, here we go. Schneider Slide, Slider Edge XB. It's a really broad ballpoint, which I really like um, for kind of writing over paint and stuff like that. Um, dry paint. This is a, the posh uh, pen biro that we got from the Four Seasons in New York. Um, it's not branded, obviously. Of course they wouldn't brand their pens. Uh, I have a very, very fine, um, a number two round paintbrush. I also have a number eight flat paintbrush, which is both of those are Dale Rowney. Um, I have a, ooh, 
your Stabilo point ball point five, uh, which I got as a freebie or a or a ten p tryout from Cult Pens. My another freebie or tryout from Jet Pens, which is my black Jetstream. I really love the Jetstream ink. Um, although the multi one pen that I've got, which I got from New York, I don't like anymore, which is odd. A glue pen. It's called the Sailor Two in One glue pen. Uh, depending on how long you leave it before sticking it, it becomes either removable or permanent, which I like. My uh, old craft knife. I've got a new one as well to do paper cutting, so that might not be stay in there. Uh, huh, this is a spare stopper for my gym ball. Probably don't need that in there. A white art line multi pen. Um, this does okay on black paper, but you it kind of depends on the paper. Sometimes it just kind of leaves a like a snail trail rather than white. But there you go. And then two refills for my. Coletto, so that's the blue, black, and the red in one thing. And then this goes on the top of a pencil or a pen. Ooh, no, good. Um, which is a stamp roller. Which is really cool. So it leaves that... Oh, here we go. Let's see if you can focus. Focus. There we go. So it leaves that uh, pattern on it. And let's see if I can actually put the top back on. Oh, excuse me, guys. Because <laughs> I don't want the stamp everywhere. Oh, okay. Right. Anyway. Uh, oh, and I have a pencil sharpener. Always need one of them. And a solitary paper clip. That is in the Kipling. Okay. Next. Question is number six. What was in there that you'd forgotten about? Um, I'd forgotten about this because it really shouldn't be in there. Um, I think everything else I kind of knew was in there, but it has nowhere else to stay, really. They always, they pretty much all my pens that I kind of use at some point will go in here. So, um, what's your most used favourite item? Hmm. Oh, it, well, in my normal, in my on-the-go pencil case, it's probably going to be this, my, um, Lamy uh, All-Star blue green I absolutely love the color I absolutely love the, the ink that's in it it's a fine point um, nib I actually am trying I'm thinking I might try the extra fine um, all of these have fine nibs in them this is a 0.5 nib but it's Japanese therefore it's always going to be a little bit finer um, I'm not really a fine tip person when it comes to like gel pens or rollerballs but with um, fountain pens I do like a slightly finer line um, in my not in my big pencil case um I do love the jelly roll. I'd like both of them, but this is a beautiful colour, this metallic one. So that's probably my favourite. Okay. Uh, number, that was number seven, wasn't it? Yeah. Number eight. Um, now you've gone through your case, what will you leave out, if anything? I'm going to leave out this. But pretty much everything else I want to stay in there. I might not put back in the paperclip because I have a place for paperclips to live. Um, that's about it, I think. How often do you go through your case and change things? This one, quite often, because I have a number of different uh, different fountain pens and inks and things like that, so I need to constantly kind of re-ink and things like that. Um, this one, not so much. I might change the front bit, so maybe I'll take the ink tents out and I'll put my pen, some of the pens in there or not, but these fit really well in the in the elastic, so I'm not, I'm probably not going to move them too soon. Number 10, what are your future plans for your case? New case, new contents, what's on your wish list? Um, I would love to have the black and white striped version of this one. Uh, this is a little bit boring, but the other colours that were available in the outlet store were not to my taste, I think um, is the best way to say it politely. Um, oh, good. Um, this I absolutely love. It is getting tatty, but whatever. I love it. Um, new contents. Oh, I'm a... You can't... Yeah, I'm, there's always going to be new stuff going in there because I'm a bit of a stationary paper pen addict. So <laughs> there will be stuff going in. Maybe not stuff going out. And it's already pretty stuffed it's, as, it's, as it is. So we will see. On my wish list, I need some more um, Coletto inserts um refills but that's not really a wish list um i'd love to get a pilot metropolitan fountain pen but they are uh we have the pilot mr in the uk which is more expensive 
uh, and has less. It's the same pen. It's the same. The Pilot Metropolitan and the Pilot MR are the same pen, but we don't. We seem to not have as many options um, in the UK. Uh, what else would I want? Probably more of the Stabilo point eighty eights. Right, I'm thinking about. There's an offer on at Cult Pens for a pack of twenty four for half price. So I don't know. We'll see if I get that. Uh, other than that, I don't think so. I'm pretty happy with the contents and what I've got in here. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you want to know where uh, more information about all, any of the things that I've shown or where I got them from, to be honest, most things come from Cult Pens because Cult Pens in the UK are fabulous and they have the best customer service and the fastest shipping. And the only people who I would also recommend for things for stationery is Bureau Direct. Uh, well, not for, for stationery, but for, for pens and kind of that kind of stuff. Bureau Direct and Cult Pens kind of serve my needs, really. Um, my local stationery stores, pretty much, I can find it cheaper online. And Bureau Direct and Cult Pens ship really quickly. So that's that's kind of my, my thing with that lot. Uh, but if you've got any questions, then do let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. Bye.